Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new. Um, today I'm doing some book stuff. Um, I mostly do like music and comedy, but I also read and um, when I first had this channel I did tons of reading videos, but um, I kind of wanted to continue it a little bit just because reading is such a big part of my life and I have a good read school of 100 books this year, which I am one book behind. I was so good for so long and I am one book behind now, so uh, I thought I would just keep it up and just keep these little like book chats going just because I really like reading, it's a huge part of my life and it's a nice way for me to like, oh, cars, I know, did you hear that car? Um, it's just like a good way for me to um, just keep track of everything I do, it's like nice, I'm babbling. Um, so the first book I read in July, um, I don't think these are in order actually, but one of the books I read in July is The Five People You Meet in Heaven by Mitch Album. It was very sad. Um, it very uh, makes you just appreciate life and it's just kind of one of those, uh, I think I gave it five out of five stars, it's just kind of like how these events in life and these people that are in your life may seem innocuous but might have had a big impact on your life and you don't even know it and um, it's just... Oh, it was just like a very heartbreaking, sweet book that made you think and I like I shouldn't have read it during this period of time in my life just because there's so much weird stuff going on with like being quarantined and coronavirus and everything stressful in this book was just very emotional and sad and I loved it but I, it put me in a funk. Like I think it took me like two days to read and I was in a funk so I highly recommend it if you're in a good place, but it put me in a funk, but it's really good. Was that a killer review? I'm not sure. Um, the next book I have, hey, what are you doing? What are you doing? Hi, honey. Come here. Um, the next book I have is Watching You, Lisa Jewel. It is a thriller. Um, basically, there is a guy who ends up dead. He's a local, like, um, school person and uh this woman who lives across the street from him had this like infatuation with him and it's like a prime suspect and it was really good um it took me a second to get into it for some reason i'm not really sure why but once i was in it i was in it there were a lot of like side storylines that all came together really nicely and i highly i recommend this book watching you it's just like this random book i feel like i got it on book outlet like a random what? She's like sniffing the bed and it's like stressing me out. Hey, what are you doing? Um, I got it on this like random book outlet haul that I got like towards the beginning of quarantine and I just like really like mystery thriller type books and I, it did not disappoint. I think I gave four out of five stars. Like I had never heard of it before. It just sounded interesting and I am so happy I picked it up. Highly recommend. So good. This was actually a really good reading month. Um, How to Win Friends and Influence People, Dale Carnegie, is my next book. Um, it's so good. I remember like maybe five years ago I started listening to the audiobook and it was like a really good audiobook and for some reason I just got off track with it and then just never finished it. And I feel like it just disappeared off my phone or I, I might have deleted it because I'm bad at technology. I don't know. But I ended up getting this from Book Outlet too because it was so cheap and it was really good. I actually read every chapter twice and um, to just really like let it sink in, if you will. And uh, I really liked it. Uh, highly recommend. It was a really good um, book to read in the morning to like kind of get you going throughout the day. Um, super good. I gave it like five out of five stars. Really good reading one. <laughs> the Alchemist was my next book. I got this because it's a classic. I have always wanted to read it. Um, I feel like I read it when I was really young. My aunt got me a copy and it just didn't resonate because I feel like I was a child. So it didn't really like make sense. I didn't really care. But I'm um, reading it now. It was really good. It was really, it was just a nice message. Um, it's kind of a great book about not giving up, persevering through difficult times. And I give it five out of five stars. It's just such an excellent read. Um, it's a classic for a reason. I think everyone should read this book. It's so good. And the last book I have finished was You Can Bank on Your Voice. It's basically a book about voiceovers and how to get into the business. Um, this voiceover casting director who I was working with for a while um, gave this to me as a copy. Like she's 
featured in it. But um, it's just like a nice, um, it just like kind of got me really excited about voiceover. I kind of wanted to do voiceover a long time ago. It is such a huge beast um, on its own with all the different like avenues you can go in entertainment. So I feel like I kind of let it go down the wayside. But this did get me like really excited about voiceover. So yeah, that's it. And those are all the books I read. Um, overall like an awesome reading month. Uh, really excited. I don't know how I got behind in my Goodreads goal because it was such a good reading month. <laughs> but that's it. So that's everything I read in July guys. Um, please be sure you subscribe below hit the notification bell. And just a little like question. Um, I was thinking of doing live streams just like a chatty slash ukulele playing e live stream. I don't know if anyone would be into it but if you are let me know. Um, you can either comment below or like let me know on Instagram. I don't know just like at Nicole Fody. Follow me. But um, just like let me know because I, I feel like that would be something fun to do because I've never done them but now I said when I hit a thousand subscribers I would think about trying to do a weekly or bi-weekly live stream where I just kind of jam and talk and just have a good time and uh, like hang out with you guys a little bit. So if you're into it let me know. There's no pressure. If you're not into it just don't say anything. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, if you would like be into that, I would be into that. So let me know. Okay. I'll see you guys Sunday. Bye.